Hi everyone, Donut here. We're gonna take a look at a crazy shooting. Sorry for posting so late, but I've been on Twitter arguing with an NAACP president all day. Well, I wasn't doing that all day. I also had a fabulous shopping day with Brandon. Look, I got a new thing. Today we're gonna be talking about a shooting that took place not quite in the butthole of Texas, but like the armpit of Texas, Austin. Just like Los Angeles, if you want to see a homeless guy's dick within the first 10 minutes, you go to Austin. Despite this being an educational video from a former law enforcement officer in an educational manner, it's probably going to get demonetized. So I took an ad. But wait right there. Comment below on what organization that $5,000 of this ad money should go to. One of my favorite and most entertaining fighters is going to be smashing some ass. Uh, ki kicking some ass. Tonight at UFC 276. Israel Adesanya is going to be fighting for his title against Jared Cannonier. That's going to be one of them bloodbath things. No matter who wins, you can walk away a winner at mybookie.com. Use the promo code DONUT at mybookie.com to get a $1,000 bonus on your initial deposit. Not sure who to wager against? Some big name UFC fighters are dropping their predictions over at the MyBookie social channels. Like I said, just use the code DONUT and bet anywhere, anytime, anything at MyBookie. June 12th, 2022, an Austin police officer was just driving down the road minding their own damn business when a guy flagged them down. No sitting at my favorite parking lot watching DONUT videos on my police cruiser MDT, said the poor officer. The officer exited his marked patrol vehicle and the man who flagged him down started yelling at him in Spanish while brandishing a knife. This is not how you talk to a police officer who stopped to help you, or a police officer at all. You probably shouldn't have a knife in your hand, or yell at them. The officer radioed for backup and two more officers arrived on scene. One of the officers spoke Spanish and started trying to de-escalate the situation. They spoke to the man for several minutes and he just continued to yell at them and would not put the knife down. A knife is a deadly weapon. They tried to reason with the man, but he eventually just started saying, hey, just kill me. Oh great, now we got a self forever sleep by cop situation here. Instead of seeking help or other alternatives to his mental predicament, he's going to make these poor cops live with his death for the rest of their lives. Very selfish. The officer with the beanbag shotgun, you can tell because they're normally orange or green, pops the guy one time and he ducks around the corner of one of the patrol cars and runs at the officer on the left side. This officer, not wanting to be stabbed, because that really hurts, mag dumps the guy who then tries to ninja roll away from the bullets. While being mag dumped, the officer with the beanbag gun tags him a couple of times too. Thank God he's down. He definitely hit him with a lot of those bullets. Incident over, cut and dry, self forever sleep by cop situation. Wrong. This right here is a perfect example why officers cuff people even though they just shot them a bunch of times. They could be playing possum. Or they could have another surge of energy or adrenaline before they die and be dangerous all over again. Which is exactly what the suspect does. Dude gets back up and runs at the officers a second time. A different officer discharges his service weapon this time and really hits the guy's off button because the guy does that stiffen up and fall flat on your face thingy that people do. The crossfire right here had me puckered up pretty hard. But fortunately, the beanbag officer wasn't hit by the other officer across from him. It's definitely not like the movies where you get shot one time and drop, or a police officer's 9mm round blows your lungs completely out. I mean, people do instantly drop when they're hitting the right spot. We've seen that a lot on this channel recently with the 360 no-scope officer in North Carolina. The baby hostage videos and many more. The bullets just weren't hitting this guy's parts that would make him stiffen up and fall over. Let's take a look at it through the body camera footage of the two police officers that actually shot the guy. When I said mag dump earlier, I meant it because look, you can see his slide lock to the rear right here. Watch out, watch out. Get over, get over. Shot fired. Shot fired. One down. 
Thank you, man. Shots taken, down. come back here. Stay down. Tell him to roll over. I roll over, roll over. Roll over. Stay hard. Stay hard. Roll over. Beat up that piece of Get up there, Bishop. Get up there, Bishop. Stay down. Stay down. Relax. Get up there, Bishop. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Well, that's the shooting. Let me know what you thought about that in the comments below. And like I said, let me know where I can drop that 5Gs. Oh yeah, the thing I talked about the first two, the uh, NAACP president Twitter thingy. I'm gonna be making a video on that soon, but like any reasonable intelligent person, I'm waiting for more information to come out. And even when I do make the video, you guys know I try to stay unbiased and let you make your own decisions. The Bishop Talbert Swan, I'm pretty sure I've made a video about him before, said his name is Jalen Walker. Eight Akron, Ohio cops fired 90 bullets at him, hitting him 60 times throughout his entire body. The cops pulled him over for a traffic violation. He was 25. He was a DoorDash driver. He was unarmed. He was murdered. And that got about 36,000 likes and 23,000 retweets. Not that I'm saying the cops were in the right, but I was like, hey, man. He shot at them first and led them on a high-speed chase, so it's not exactly a simple traffic violation, which is what the majority of reports are stating happened. He just left that part out. That's when he said, I was in the clan. Thanks for the retweet, by the way, B Bishop Swan. Oh, of course he's bringing up the, the Dylan Roof argument. Anyways, I'll make a video on that here Sunday. They said they're going to release more information about the incident Sunday. Anyways, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, go to DonutOperator.com to get some super sweet merch or subscribe to my other channels. I'm probably going to be over at twitch.tv slash DonutOperator tonight playing a little bit of Tarkov. The wipe just happened, so it's been really fun. I'm going to be teaming up with Brandon. Other than that, please have a fantastic day.